Hi everybody, how are you? It's your girl Kenya and welcome to my channel, Confessions of a Shopaholic. Today I am coming back to you all with another segment of our... Oh my gosh, my glasses are always so crooked when I'm looking in this camera. Anyway, another segment of Sister to Sister. So yeah, if you guys are interested in uh, the latest letter, please... Um, don't go anywhere but first I know you guys are like where are you where is she where have you been and I want to thank you guys so much for continuing to stick around and thank you to all my sisters for your concern your messages your comments of concern everything um I think I just had to take a step back for a second um, as some of you may know or may not know I have a teenage son he is 14 and ain't nothing typical about this teenager um <sighs> I don't know I mean I guess it is typical teenage stuff I'm really not sure oh, I know I didn't act these ways when I was a teenager so I don't really know if I can call it typical but nothing is really typical in this day and age so yeah I just had to sort a couple of things out with him and kind of get my mind right like my mind wasn't really right and you know when I come to you guys I want to come to you guys correct I don't want to bring any of my drama to you guys unless that's the topic unless we're sharing it so I just you know I had to just take a little bit of time and just chill out and not only that but um, again, as maybe some of you do or don't know, I suffer from migraines, so I was going through a little bit of that in between, but this too shall pass, just like everything else. I got my Excedrin, extra strength, okay, shout out to Excedrin, okay, y'all need to pay me for that, because that was like a, um, a plug to y'all. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, but I am back with a clear head. So, yeah, we can pretty much pick up where we left off. So, uh, if you are interested in this segment of Sister to Sister, it's coming up in a few seconds. Alrighty, guys, y'all all know how this goes by now. I am going to read a letter from one of my sisters asking me for advice. And as you see by the title, yeah, this is one of those touchy subjects but you know what I like the touchy subjects because we get a lot of feedback because I'm not an expert I'm only giving my opinion so I like to hear the difference of opinions and you know what you all think and or what you even think about what I think like sometimes you you say like am I the only one that really feels like this or am I the only one that thinks this but by these sister to sister segments it lets all of us know that we are not alone as women and uh yeah it's just different different people same ish different people so let's get right into this it says hi big sis hi little sis love the sister to sister series <laughs> i think you and your husband really need your own show <laughs> really <laughs> i don't think that <laughs> i don't think we need our own show y'all ain't really ready for that dose of reality but anyway um I really think you and your husband need your own show. I was cracking up. Yeah. Question. I recently found out that my boyfriend cheated on me via one of his best friends. The best friend pulled me to the side, gave me details, times, and the whole rundown. I confronted my boyfriend, which he confirmed that it was true. I am at a crossroad. I love him with all my heart. He supposedly loves me. Do you think trust can be restored once someone cheats? Should I just let this go? Why do men cheat? Confused and angry. All right, I'm going to have to keep this one right here uh, so I can refer back to some of the things that you said. First of all, I'm not trying to be funny, but I would hope that this best friend is a girl. I mean, I don't know, because if it's not, you got more issues to deal with than <laughs> I'm just saying I'm just saying okay please don't get offended anyway I, I, I'm taking it that she is that it is a, a, a girl so um okay first off that best friend boy 
boy girl thing that's a little uh a little tricky there um i know when my husband and i met we both kind of had similar situations where he had a female that was a best friend and i had males that i was really good friends with um because the type of personalities that we have we tend to attract the opposite sex and not in like a, a um lustful type of way i mean that too but more so we tend to bond more with the opposite sex i know for me um I bond with males quicker than I bond with females. I mean, I love my sisters to death, but sometimes females can be a little bit too catty for me. So I tended to bond more with like my male cousins or just um, males in general. Um, I, growing up, had a, a male best friend. But as my mom used to tell me, you do not sleep with your best friends. So if you are asleep, my glasses are so crooked. If you're sleeping with them, they're not your best friend. So let's just straight up put that out there. So for any of y'all sisters or brothers who are out there saying, oh, this is my best friend and you know y'all sleeping together, did that. Because that's not real. That's not true. You don't sleep with your best friend. Like, just put that out there. But, um, yeah, that situation is, is kind of... Um, is a tough one to deal with because I mean you're 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 a boyfriend a girlfriend and you don't really feel like you want to try to dictate his life and say you can't have this person as a friend and you can't have that person as a friend but I do believe that there are boundaries that have to be set I mean let me try to be like real real 100% real in this case I wouldn't consider myself a jealous the jealous type you know what let me let me ask my husband something hold on one second y'all let me get his opinion on this before i speak because y'all know how he is he might be like hell yeah she jealous right now i'm addressing the best friend situation in a female to male perspective like if you can't like it you know when we met you had a female best friend and I had a male friend you understand what I'm trying to go with this what do you think about that well, about your mate having a best friend that's the opposite sex do you think that that's appropriate in a relationship um, I think having friends is all right but not having not being having a best friend that's the opposite sex. Because the best friend, term best friend will be somebody that you want, always want to be around and you always talk to. I suppose. Um, I think the person that you with should become your best friend. <clears throat> um, and if that person you was with was your best friend, <clears throat> then any other friend that you had outside of that relationship uh, wouldn't be uh, slept on. You know what I mean? Like What I mean by that is like people wouldn't know um, wouldn't be so um, insecure about what could happen with the, that type of relationship, friendship, I mean, you know what I mean? But I, I, at the end of the day, I really don't think that it's cool. <laughs> okay, now what I called you in here for is because I, I was kind of saying something like that. I mean, I honestly forgot exactly what I was saying, but what I was... What I wanted to ask you is, do you think I'm the jealous type? Yeah. You do? What do you mean jealous? Like what? Like, am I am I jealous of of like of of women? Am I envious of women? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That type of person now. I don't think so. Yeah, really no. Really no. Okay. Now. Okay. Now listen to this. Do you think I'm jealous or possessive? Because it's a difference. Because I would say I'm possessive. I wouldn't say I'm jealous. I want to say that you... I wouldn't really... Jealous of somebody is... is that's, I don't think that you would be jealous of that. If if that if, if somebody had a, 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 a real good... Let's just say it was a real good friendship. And it really was just a real good friendship. And it had to be a female. Nothing else was going on. I think you type person could be jealous of that friendship. If yours wasn't like that, I think that... But I don't think that you're just jealous of other other 
females. You know what I'm saying? So you can be jealous of, of, an, of an act, but I don't think you're jealous of the individual. Yeah, you know, an example. Just like when you used to see certain things like marriage. Your relationship at a certain time wasn't like that. Okay. So you would be jealous of, of that. So, okay. Yeah. All right. I, I definitely agree with that. I definitely agree with that. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about... You said, were well, you that type of female? Yeah, but I'm not talking about that type of jealousy because we're talking about um, male, male to female friendships. That's what we're talking about. Like... And when what made me what what made me say I'm I'm not really the jealous type is I'm not really the type I I don't really like if I see you talking to another female I don't really react right away like oh who is that bitch talking to my man like I don't it's a little deeper than just possessive I think but I don't think that you're no I don't think that you're jealous when it comes to a friendship but I think it's a little more than just possessive okay now all right. Now, that's what I'm basically talking about right there. Like, jealous of a friendship. Because the whole thing about this letter is, like, you just turned this into a whole different segment. I mean, well, you said that you said you didn't have those type of person, those ways. And and I had to... Well, I didn't... I, I didn't about, yeah, but I didn't, I didn't really mean like that. Like, and I, and I was probably going to elaborate into that. But I wanted you to... That's why I said, like, you know what? I'm not really the person that can answer that question and be honest about it. So let me ask you more so than for me to sit here and say, oh, I'm not the jealous type. And maybe I really am and just don't realize it. I don't think I am because I'm not jealous of any female. Like, I'm not jealous, envious, or anything like that. But, like you said, I guess I can have jealous tendencies when it comes to seeing something that I don't have, maybe. But I'm not really speaking like that. I'm mainly speaking like... I mean, a friendship could be like that. You could be... Do you say you're okay with the, the opposite... The, the friend, I mean, boyfriend or husband having a female friend or best friend? See, we didn't get to that, but no. I'm not okay with that. You're not okay I'm not okay with that. Because of what? I, I think it's inappropriate. I think that your mate should be your best friend or become your best friend because there's levels in a relationship. Okay, there's levels in a relationship. When you are a boyfriend, you are courting that person. And when you courting that person, you're courting them with the perspective of possibly that being the person that you're going to spend your life with. Now, things have gotten so jaded over time that people seem to forget that. So, no, listen, because I'm not done. So when you are dating someone and that's your girlfriend or boyfriend, that person is now to become your best friend. So any of those females that you had as your best friend should no longer hold that space because that woman might potentially become your wife. Yeah, I, I just see it like if you have that special relationship with your husband or boyfriend, I'm sorry, wife, whatever, the opposite, the person you're with. You shouldn't even want a best friend in the opposite sex. I woo, yeah, I agree that, with that a thousand percent. You know what I mean? That is definitely the ultimate. I believe. Okay, now if they do want that, what do you say yeah, about something that? Is not something, right, ain't right, right? something ain't right, right? Yeah. And, and and not even. Or the, they might be liking that person for a different reason. And look, in this case, in this case, I recently found out that my boyfriend cheated on me via one of his best friends. The best friend pulled me to the side, gave me details, times, and the whole rundown. I confronted my boyfriend, in which he confirmed that it was true. I am at a crossroad. I love him with all my heart. He supposedly loves me. Do you think trust can be restored once someone cheats? Should I just let this go? And why do men cheat? confused and angry is how she signed it so this is her dilemma her dilemma is that her boyfriend had slept with with one of his best friends and that best friend pulled her to the side hint hint if she pulled you to the side then that ain't his best friend because she wants you to know what happened between the two of you yeah it's just something deep in that. It, I, that you broke that part down but she can't ask why do men cheat it's well, just, I didn't get a, to that part yeah, yet. It's just in general, why do people? Change? I didn't get to that part yet, but I'm I'm getting to that part. I I just was was at a was at a point where I was trying to put myself in a situation and ask, would I be jealous or am I jealous? So and that was that is what would make any me jealous, anybody jealous, because I'm not a jealous person at all. Right. 
But what would make me jealous is because I'm like, hold on, why do you have a male best friend when I'm like, I'm supposed to be your best friend. You ain't even supposed to want that. So that would make anybody jealous, even if they're not. You know what I mean? True indeed. True indeed. Okay. So, to continue where we left off, which I don't even know where we left off, y'all. Y'all know how we do. <laughs> okay, so, Miss Confused and Angry, you... I don't know. If, I don't know if we were maybe talking too fast, or hopefully we didn't get off topic. Oh my gosh, y'all! <laughs> um, <laughs> but yes. Yeah, so, bottom line is, like my husband said, you shouldn't even. He shouldn't even want to have best friends. And in this, you say one of his best friends. So does that? Mm, sorry, y'all. Does that mean that he has more than one? If he has more than one, you need to be looking more, uh, a little bit deeper into the. Uh, you're not asking the right question, shall I say. Do you think trust can be restored once someone cheats? Should I just let this go and why do men cheat? I understand your questions, but your questions don't coincide with, with what you say. Because, I mean, mm, it's obvious that it's more than just this is one of his best friends. Um, it seems to me, my opinion is that he's using that best friend thing as a cop out and as a way to stay close to these females without jeopardizing the relationship that the two of you have. So you need to be asking him, should we just let this go? Not me. I mean, again, I'm all for ask, you know, answering questions and giving the best advice that I possibly can. But I really think that I'm the wrong person to be asking, should you let this go? Because that really depends on whether or not your boyfriend wants to let that stuff go. Like, are you, the two of you, serious enough for him to say, okay, you know what? I'm going to bump these ladies out the way and you're going to be number one. I mean... The, the, the cheating part and the messing around part is definitely like, no, okay, I knew you had friends, but that was not to say that you were you supposed to be messing with them because I trusted you. But at the same time, the way he's probably going to think is like, why should I let this go now when you knew what it was when we first started? So it's kind of like you have to set the tone for how your relationship um, is going to go from the beginning. Like, I guess to say that you're the... Um, you were okay with him having these best friends, plural? I don't know, but I, I, I wouldn't be okay with that. I just would not be okay with that. I, and I would, the same thing like my husband said, no, I'm your best friend, okay? Like, and if I can't be your best friend and they fill a void that I can't fill, then I don't need to be there. So maybe that answers your question, you know what I mean? Um, and then another thing. I, I don't really know, like you say he confirmed that it was true, but he confirmed that it was true and then what? Like did he say I won't do it again? Did he say um, it was just the this, it was just the that? Like what did he What did he say the reason was? I mean, not to say that there's a reason or, or for, for cheating, so don't like jump on my words. But you just kind of left it a little open-ended where I can't really figure out um what what actually happened after you after he confessed to the issue um i would excuse me i would be at a cross crossroad too um if i were you because that's a tough situation to be in when you love when you love the you know you love your boyfriend and um and you've been hurt by him now what i am going to do is i'm going to go down to answer these questions do you think trust can be restored when someone cheats yes i do I absolutely do. I think it's very difficult. I think it's probably one of the most difficult things to go through in a relationship. But I do think that trust can be restored. Which is going to answer this next question. Why do men cheat? It's not about men cheating. It's not just men that cheat. Women cheat too. So you got to ask why do people cheat? And there's a variety of reasons why people cheat. None of them. Y'all these glasses are irking me so bad. None of the reasons make it right, but there are reasons. Now, let me speak from my own personal experiences. Um, I've dealt with infidelity before um, on both ends. And on both ends, there was always, first of all, the type of person that I am, and y'all can like say what you will, I know how to separate the two. Like, was it just 
a, a one night thing or are you trying to have a relationship with this person like if you're trying to have a relationship with this person and y'all getting to know each other and kicking it and all of that okay no you got to go but if it's something that happened and you know just one of those fluke things then it's very possible to be able to move on from a situation like that but once you make an emotional connection with somebody to me that's a little bit deeper than than the physical connection like the physical connection people do this for sports sometimes and just keep it moving so it's like it depends on how deep the 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 um affair actually went you know what i mean like if it was an affair then but if it was just something that happened because of whatever the case may be and you guys can work it out and, and you realize the mistakes that you made to get to that point then yeah i do think people make mistakes and people can be um can be forgiven so that's just my opinion i, I do think that trust can be restored once somebody cheats and i don't think it's just isolated to men i know we women like to bash the men like oh why do men cheat on oh, my man cheated on me this that and the third and it's unfortunate that people cheat you know what i mean for whatever the reason is no no one should be doing it you know so you it's not really fair to just single out the men the question is why did your man cheat <laughs> not why do men cheat because not all men cheat it's why did your man cheat that's the question that you should be asking him why did you cheat can i trust you again can trust be restored what should we do i'm at a crossroad should we just let this go that's who you need to be asking and depending on those answers will depend on what you do you know what you do uh, moving forward but I, I keep it real though keep it real don't bite your tongue don't sugarcoat nothing say exactly how you feel you can't hold anybody accountable for what they do not know so if he doesn't know how you feel he's not gonna be able to read your mind you need to say it excuse me you need to say it and i don't and i don't mean in a confrontational way i don't mean in a fighting argumentative way because the last thing you want to do is make him defensive because once he gets defensive he's not going to want to talk to you so don't approach the situation in a confrontational manner or even a manner in which um you'll back him into a corner you know what i'm saying if he's open to talking to you about it you need to say you know what can we sit down and have a talk we need to talk about this we need to really work this out to figure out you know when we're you know what it is we're going to do and if he doesn't want to talk to you then you already know what it is like why don't even you know like seriously if it's not that if it's not important enough for you to sit here and take a couple of minutes out for us to try to figure this out and where we go from this point on then then it's really not worth it like honestly seriously i don't like giving this type of relationship advice because we all have our differences of opinions and i don't want anything that i say to sway you in any direction like my the one thing that my husband hates 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 is for me to go to someone else get advice from that person and then come back and act on the advice that that person gave me because that person's advice may not be the best advice for me so misconfused and angry um i did give you a lot of food for thought but at the end of the day you need to figure out what is best for you and what you are capable of handling um i did give you a couple of different perspectives on you know my personal dealings with the jealousy thing and the whatever thing and you heard what my husband said so hopefully that just gives you a, a a broader perspective on this situation and this topic in general hope that hopefully that gave you all um a little bit of insight too um let me tell you something just like in my uh 25 random things about me that was my personal life i've dealt with a lot in my relationship as well so I come from a place of experience like honestly really and um I mean as you guys can see we're still here you know what I mean we're still hanging in there so it's obviously something that we're doing right <laughs> I guess I don't know I don't know y'all relationships are like jobs they are hard 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 work 20 
24 7 24 7 the only difference with this and a job is that you can't just pick them and say i quit you can't you know so i don't know miss confused and angry my sister my girl my darling i don't really know what else to tell you hopefully uh I don't know. Hopefully we weren't all over the place, but I'm getting ready to wrap this up, y'all, because this video is probably going to go way over time, and I'm probably going to have to cut a couple of things out. Hopefully I won't cut out too much good stuff. So, yeah, I'm back, y'all. So, yeah, I'll be back one more again with another segment of Sister to Sister. Do you say?